Welcome back. Um, so today is April 15th, so I am officially 40 today. So <clears throat> I found out what was going on here, and I actually had to put concealer there. It is it wasn't bugs it wasn't bug bites. It was my allergies. They were so bad that I was getting allergy swollen here because this hap is now. If I take the makeup off, it looks kind of crazy, but it's like this on both sides evenly. So it's definitely my it's definitely my ducks because it feels like underneath it feels like right in my sinuses. So I'm not gonna hold you. Um, I'm kind of ready to go home. <laughs> um, as much as I enjoyed this trip, I think eight days was just too long. It was too long. So um, lesson learned. In the future, I'm only gonna do like five days in Puerto Rico if I'm ever to do, if when I do, when I come back. Cause I am gonna come back. It was dope, and I'm really just gonna stay maybe one or two locations. I'll probably just do the West Side and the mountains, um, cause those those two are literally. I'll be honest, those are my two favorites. Um, I did enjoy the South too. It was very peaceful, very chill. I enjoyed that as well. Um, I do want to do this side of the island a little bit more, but I was also told by one of the people who I met, Selena, because um, we're calling her Selena, we're not going to put her real name out there. Um, if I do come back, come in March. March is actually better than April, because this is kind of the beginning of raining season, so this is why the sky's been kind of gloomy and stuff. So there's been an overcast, it's been kind of raining on and off this morning already, um, so I haven't even been outside, but I am going to try to chill at the pool. So I'm going to do the pool. Um, no, no beach today. I'm not really feeling that. And I was thinking about going to do some rum tasting, but I actually drank quite a bit last night. <laughs> um, I met some people at the hotel bar and we just had us a time and just started drinking. And then afterwards, they, because I'm, it's at the hotel that I'm staying at. They gave me a decent to-go container format with more alcohol and drink some more. And then I ended up talking to someone and ended up drinking some more because he wanted to celebrate the birthday with me um, that morning. Um, so he was the first person to give me a happy birthday, actually. Um, again, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. Just know there's things happening. <laughs> Um, and I'm excited for it, to be honest. I'm open to it. I am actually going more my goal. And um, I was reflecting a little bit with him and others throughout the trip and throughout my time here. And really, for those who follow my channel, this channel has been a lot of me reflecting on things. Um, and I just, even while I was listening to some morning affirmations, I was thinking about the changes I've made and what additional changes I might need to make um continue on the path I'm going you know I had a couple of friendship breakups I told you all about that I had a relationship breakup and it I was reaffirmed listening to some morning affirmations today not everyone can go with you when you're elevating and moving forward not everyone can go with you and that's a path I've been on um I may not physically be exactly where I want to be at yet but we're gonna get there because now this finally starts it's starting to feel the way it used to and I'm not as stressed out as I used to be like really this has been the most stress-free trip I've ever been on I've been so not stressed I've been fully tranquila um even with the idea of things not working out like I was thinking about going to old San Juan today but I'll be honest I don't really feel like it I kind of just want to relax and taking the last day i've already started doing some of my packing getting things ready to go i am going to try to go to a brewery though around the area um to get more beers because i want to check out more beers more breweries um i'm i think that's really pretty much all i might do i might do the old san juan thing but i also just i'm not really in a hurry to do that either um but i'm definitely gonna do the beach and chill it's like almost like 1 30 and I haven't had lunch yet or even breakfast I've just been taking my time I've been editing videos and trying to get things ready for when I get back 
because I just kind of I want the rest of this week to go because I come back I go back home tomorrow so I want tomorrow to be a smooth transition I want to get plenty of rest I don't really want to be out of it having to leave tomorrow so really I kind of felt like I had my time last night um, and then even the night before, I celebrated my birthday like twice, actually three times kind of, um, already. And I mean, this whole entire trip has been in celebration of my birthday. So I don't really feel the pressure to actually celebrate on the actual day so much. Um, so I think I'm just going to tranquila, have some good food, and then head on out. I don't really feel the need to do more than that. I also kind of don't really want to drive too much in San Juan because the driving here sucks. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not that great. I feel like the driving in other places throughout the island is much better. Um, it's definitely harder to drive in San Juan than all the other places in a, in a different way because the other vehicles just aren't as nice about like using signals and things like that. And I feel like in the other locations, that's kind of true, but you're going much a slower pace that doesn't matter. Everyone's on tranquila mode or tra or tranquilo mode. Um, everyone's los tranquilo, basically, and it's fine. But um, I'm thinking I just need to, um, yeah, chill for the rest of the day. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And plus, I stayed up way too late last night. <laughs> I forgot to mention it. I was up to like 3 a.m. almost. Um And the person who I was up till with, they know why and it's their fault. <laughs> but I wasn't mad at it. I actually was very much okay with it, clearly. But anyway, anyway, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you're not going to get me. We're not going to talk about it anymore. But anyway, um, I will check in another time. And yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention. I had dinner last night. The dinner that I had last night was really, so, really good. The dinner that I had was at the hotel bar. I mentioned that. And it was like... Um, a twist on chicken pot pie, but it was like a Puerto Rican chicken chick chick pot pie. So I had like um, fried plantains, um, shredded um, chicken. Oh, so good. The seasonings were seasoning and it was just muy bien, muy, muy bien. And um, I ended up like um, talking to this couple and they both used to live in Chicago. Um, Chicago land, really, but they were familiar enough to know where things were, so it was fine. And we were just talking about a whole bunch of cool stuff. We ended up talking about Chicago land stuff, talking about what they're going to be doing because they just got in, like from the airport, so they still got eight more days on their end. And they were like, "So what have you done here?" I was like, "Well, I've actually did everything else outside of here, and I had me a time." They're just like, "Wow!" I was like, "Yeah, like I'm kind of more of like." And I think the conclusion I'll come up with with this trip, and I knew this, but now I really know, because I've lived in Chicago for as long as I lived lately, um, and Chicago proper, I don't think moving forward when it comes to trips, I have desire to go to places that feel like a major city. Like, I want to get away from the hustle and bustle. I think that was my intention for this trip. Like, I just wanted to de-stress and decompress. And so San Juan isn't really... I'm not really on that kind of time, even though I'm here. I was on the kind of time of all the other places on the island and not San Juan. Because I'm not in, I'm not in that energy. That's not the energy I really want to feed at this moment. So I'm going to listen to it and not feed into it. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm going to go to the brewery or not. I was thinking about it, but I already brought some beer. And I have some beer I'm going to take back. And I think I just want to continue this health and wellness path and this path of me moving forward. But still, you know, respecting my relationships with my friends and um, some of the newer people that are entering my life and staying open to that. I want to continue on that path. Um because also, too, I really, 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 really run a run a really good trail race come no, um, sep come October. And another way I could do that is nurse <laughs> my ankle. Because I don't think I, I maybe I mentioned it, but I don't think I did. I twisted my ankle like three days ago. Um, so it's a grade one, but it's given almost grade two. Um so I can walk on that stuff, but it's definitely more swollen than the other foot. And 
um, I kind of want that to heal and I kind of just want to be smart about it because I do want to be able to get back to running and working out when I get home. Um, I really want to be able to transitionally get back to my place tomorrow, get like my grocery, get some food. I'll go grocery shopping Wednesday. I'll go to the gym and all that Wednesday, but I'll just get some food, chill and get my house clean and get all my stuff clean and get unpacked. Um, and then Wednesday will be when I go out with like my friends. Um, Thursday, just a me day, chilling and getting more things together. Um, thir- Friday, have a date. <laughs> Saturday, have another date. And then Sunday, getting ready for my new work, my new job. Because my new job is on Monday and I just need to be able, I want it to be a smooth transition and um, I think I mentioned um, my goal is to be more intentional this year and I want to continue that path because so far so good. I've been really being that way, but I've also been my, the old me is coming back where there's a spontaneity happening. I'm randomly rolling with it when I meet and talk to people, but I'm also not forcing anything. If I don't feel like doing something, I'm just not going to do it. It's that simple. I'm not forcing myself to do things I don't want to do anymore. Um, and Or forcing situations. But anyway, I just kind of want to speak that to existence a little bit. Maybe this is more of a get fit with me for sense accountability a little bit. So I might put this in as a Monday thing, even though this is still me vlogging. But yeah. Anyway, bye. This couch looks familiar to you. I'm sure it does, but I am back. Um, so I just, I got back last night around close to eight o'clock. Um, I just been working on laundry, getting all that done and everything else. But yeah, overall, um, I don't think I gave a video on the day, the, on my birthday in the last day. So my birthday, <clears throat> what I ended up doing was <clears throat> I start off at the hotel bar. Because I thought I was going to be able to have lunch. Um, but turns out on Mondays, they close like at 2. Like they're basically open for brunch and then that's it. So then that ship sailed. But the good news was I met other people. I, I ended up meeting another person there. And his birthday was the next day. So what happens when two Aries get together and birthdays are back to back? A good time. That's what happened. So we actually ended up hitting it off really well, hanging out. And then we decided, okay, let's walk to another restaurant bar within San Juan and walking distance of the hotel, basically. And we did that and had, had mimosas, had some mojitos, had some tacos, some shrimp tacos. And then I was good. I was back up and running again. And yeah, a little bit of flirting, but it's fine. Um, as a result, too, side note, because this all ended up happening, I didn't pay for any of the rest of my stuff. This guy paid for everything. <laughs> and we were out for a while. We were out till I would say until like eight o'clock. We left at two and we're out till eight. So we end up going to this place. And then after we went to this place, we went to another place to get some more drinks because I'll be honest, the place we were at before, the drinks weren't that great, but we just needed, I needed something right away, and he could tell I need something right away, because I was like, I originally was not planning on drinking and then no food. I was expecting there to be food and to have a couple drinks and then figure out the rest of my day. And we both just kind of winged it and hung out with each other, because side note, I probably didn't mention this in the video before, but like the um, weather the last couple days in when I was in San Juan was not great. Like it was raining the whole time for the most part. So it kind of limited the things you can do. Um, but then once the sun, the sun started to kind of peak a little bit towards the end of the day. But by then, child, I was already gone with the wind. <laughs> I had me a good time. We'll just say that. So then we ended up going from there to another bar. This was a much nicer bar, but it wasn't busy yet because the rooftop part of the bar was not open yet. So therefore, we ended up just like talking to the bartender. Bartender was super cool. 
Um, shout out to Kat. It was great. Um, made some great mojitos, flavor mojitos. Because, by the way, yeah, I was on the time of while I'm there, I'm drinking rum drinks. I'm not going to be doing no beer. It's going to be rum. And so I had a lot of mojitos. I had quite a few mojitos. Um, and I'm still, my faculties are still together. But by the time we're there, it's dinner now. So now we ordered, so we split a giant thing of paella. Um, it was like a seafood paella. And I got to pick what I wanted. And he was like, yeah, pick it. I was like, your birthday's tomorrow, though. He's like, I don't care. I just want you to have a good time. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Say less. So I, I went ahead and I ordered it. And then again, I didn't have to pay for anything. And so from there, then we went back to the hotel because he was staying, we were staying in the same hotel. So this is how all this happened. And we ended up like, let's go to the pool now. And then once we got to this pool, this pool was just a cast of characters. It was so funny. Um, we met some Atlanta girls. We met some, um, I met a girl that's from York, Pennsylvania, but she sounded like she was from Philly. I clocked it wrong initially, said that she sounded like she was from Baltimore. Sober me's like, girl, no, that was a that was totally a Philly accent. She literally sounds like Eve. Um <laughs> and then um a couple up uh, and then another person was from like Jersey City, but like Puerto Rican. Oh my gosh. It was just like and then oh, the people who I met the night before were down there too. So it was just a whole cast of characters, land of misfit toys, all hanging out at the pool. Um, just relaxing, vibing, having a good time. The pool was actually, because by then the sun was already down, so no one was actually in the pool. We were actually all in the hot tub instead. Because the hot tub was like, actually it was toasty. It was almost a little too warm. And like, um, the way it was set up though, the pool was here. And you can see here my sciences are still messed up. So I know. So this is finally fixed on this side. But I still have marks left from that. But I don't have any sinus pressure here anymore. This is fixed, but I still have the scar here. But it's, I didn't know, but like my sinuses were all messed up all the way here on this side. Just really jacked up. <laughs> the way my sinuses took a number on this trip, but I had a great trip all at the same time. Make it make sense. I wouldn't even, I don't even know how to tell you that. But anyway, so after this, I don't feel like putting the headstand or anything like that. We're just going to do the review right now, the trip. Um, yeah. After that, um, the Atlanta girls were, they were troublemakers, <laughs> but they're a fun time. Um, they're originally from Chicago, though, but they they moved to Atlanta. But I mean, when I tell you, I could tell they were Atlanta girls. I knew they were Atlanta girls because they had the snuffleupagus of it all. One of the girls' names was Diamond. I was like, girl. <laughs> and they were like, we're going to order some tequila and we're just going to get turned. And I already told you, I don't do tequila like that. So, but I was like, because they knew it was my birthday, I was like, okay, I'll take one tequila shot and then I'm going to bed. I have an early flight. I ain't missing it. I, and also, too, before I even went down there, did all the, did all the things I did that day, I was already pre-packed. I was already ready to go. I just had my stuff out that I needed for the morning and everything else was packed up, ready to go. Um, if I had access to my car, I would put all that stuff in my car, but it was probably for the best because I don't know how the streets of San Juan be at night and all that. I don't know how, I don't know the rate of break-ins they have with cars. I don't want to deal with it, so it's, it's a non-problem. So anyway, I ended up having a shot. I had half the shot. I gave the other guy who I was hanging out with the other half of the shot. Because we just kind of shared it. Because, uh, <laughs> again, I was being flirty that whole entire day. Uh, <laughs> for those who don't know, I don't try to do that. I just do that at times. Whether I've been drinking or not, it's just a thing. I'm kind of naturally really bubbly and kind of flirty. But the thing is, it does work to my favor. And I, I'm very aware of that. <laughs> Clearly. So, anyway... We ended up, um, so I didn't finish the shot. I was like, <laughs> I just pour the rest of it in the pool. Like, because <laughs> I didn't want it because it was, it was not good tequila. It was really, I haven't had this type of tequila since like college. I was like, I haven't, I don't think I've ever purchased this legally. 
like Jose Cuervo, ill, ill. And I was, I didn't want to say it out loud, but I, in my head, I was thinking this is giving low vibrational plates. So anyway, it was time to go. <laughs> I went upstairs. I'm to my room. The friend went too, <laughs> but we just really wanted to listen to music. And we didn't do anything like crazy or anything like that. And that was risky as fuck that I even did that. That was stupid, stupid risky. I should not have done that. But I was just, whatever. I was living the moment. That's kind of what I do at times. And also, too, Kwai's just kept, I was thinking to myself, if worse comes to worse, I know I could take this dude. <laughs> like, the thing is that I'd be, I'd be thinking back in my head, I was like, well, I got hands, so it's fine. And... I know how my hotel room's set up. I know what I got when I can use as a weapon. I, I don't want to think that way, but yeah, kids don't ever do that. But I was just on vacation mode, full tranquila. I was last tranquila, vacation mode. And side note, clearly nothing happened. We're all good. I have his number and I have his Instagram now as a result. I And also throughout the whole entire trip, everywhere I went, Minus the very first place I was at because I kind of was trying to like not get anyone else. I didn't know if I was sick sick or if it was my sinuses messed up. So I kind of just stayed to myself the first part of the trip before I went out west. But west on, I got people's numbers. I was exchanging information. So now I know if I'm traveling somewhere else throughout the world, throughout the country or even world at this point. Because a lot of the people that I was hanging out with were world travelers. They... They don't just do the United States. They, they're everywhere. So I have people that I could connect with and potentially travel with, you know, or just like not necessarily be in the same place, but just make sure we're able to kind of meet up and link up here and there. Because, um, again, I don't know these people like that. But that is one of the reasons why you do so solo traveling. It's a cool way to network and get to meet people. And you never know throughout life. Let's say something happened. I had to move to Los Angeles. I have a connect to Los Angeles. Let's say for whatever reason I need to move to Seattle, Washington. I have a connect to Seattle, Washington now. Let's say I need to move in Charlotte. I have a Charlotte connect now. You see how see what I'm saying? So even though it seems like what I was doing was very free spirited, which it is, it also there's a purpose to it too. If you don't put yourself out there, you don't know what you know what opportunities you might be missing on, uh, missing out on. That's just, and that's just law. You only have one life to live, live it. But also use your discernment. And for me, I will say this full transparency wise, my discernment's really good. And I don't think everyone's blessed with that. But like, I know I am one of those people just throughout the years and all the crazy situations I've been out throughout life. I have a very strong gauge of discernment. Like I could kind of tell when things seem off. Like, even when we were hanging out with the Atlanta people and all that, I was like, I feel like they're one of those people. They're, they, they, t to me, in my head, I was thinking, they might be fun to hang out with for a little bit, but I feel like they might get into some trouble. Because it was clear they were, like, probably in their 20s. And they ain't got the, they ain't got the ratchetness and all the... They ain't got the, they ain't got the um, goaliness out yet. You got to age out of some of that stuff. <laughs> And I have a job to like the gulliness. I don't do stu I, I don't do nothing too crazy anymore. I mean, yeah, probably what I say compared to other people is kind of crazy. But if y'all knew me in my twenties, what I do now is so light. It's such so, so light work. <laughs> Just say. So, um, side note, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my breakfast. I actually ordered breakfast because I am still treating this like a vacation. So I'm trying to get all the videos together right now. That's kind of what I've been doing. And then I'm also trying to get all my laundry together. And then my cat whisperer loves. She loves them back. Hold on. I'm trying to get it. See? She loves them back. See? She loves them back. Anyway. So, but side note, this hair is going like in two days. Um, maybe three. Maybe four. Yeah, maybe after the dates. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Uh, so, okay. So after, after we danced and kind of hung out, I told him like, look, I got to shut down. Like I got an early morning flight. It was nice meeting you. I'm glad I got your information. I'm glad I'm passing the baton to you. Cause side note, the friend who I met, um, not friend, 
you know, I'm, I'm using friend very, very loosely when I say friends when it comes to this whole entire thing, by the, by the way. But the new person who I met, who I ended up hanging out with the whole entire day, he is going through his own stuff. And so he's using this trip to kind of do, kind of doing the same thing I was doing. But I'm like, I feel like I'm further along in my journey of self-discovery than what he's at. He's at the beginning stages of it. So I'm just letting him know, like, dude, as a white male, you got this. Like, you can just, you know, be open to things, be open to experiences, still use discernment, don't do nothing too crazy, and you'll meet other people like me and have a good time. You know? And be safe, don't do stupid stuff, and you'll be fine. But enjoy this time, because it was, this was also his first solo trip. And I love meeting people when it's their first solo trip because I have to, I, I try to like gas them like, hey, you know, you got this. Like use discernment though with the solo trip, but you got this. This is, this is your thing. It's still our season because his birthday was day after mine. So I was like, it's still our season. New beginnings. Take full advantage of it. Go. And so I think he was very appreciative of that. And I think that was the main reason why he liked hanging out with me because he saw my positive energy. And he's like, you're just, you're, you're a light. You really are a light. There's a light to you. And, I'm, and the thing is, I, I do know that about myself. Um, I try to be very modest about it, but I do know that that's a fact. I do have a light to myself. And so that's the reason why I also try to try super hard to protect my energy too. Um, now that I know that. Because it took me a long time to figure that out. I did not know that for a very long time. But now that I know that, clearly this is why I pay attention and why I'm in, in this type of journey that I am in at this day and age. Anyway, so afterwards, no fancy stuff. Woke up right on time, had my alarm set because I, I had it in my head. I Because I already had my alarm set. I was already ready to go. Did not get a lot of sleep. That kind of sucked. But... It was fine. Got to the airport and all that seamlessly. Got my rent car returned and all that seamlessly. No problems. Um, got through the first flight. Oh, no. I got to the airport. Did not know this because I've never been to Puerto Rico before. So for those who've never been out of the country before, um, well, not out of the country, but like out of kind of like the United States mainland situation. There we go. Um... Your stuff has to kind of go through customs. It's not really a cut. It's not custom customs, but it's kind of a customs. Like it goes through a thing before you take it to even like the airline and stuff like that. Um, and again, I, I wasn't bringing anything crazy, so it wasn't a big deal. You know, I know I've been traveling long enough to know how to pack accordingly. So it, it's a very quick process, um, especially in Puerto Rico, because it's state to state. It's still the United States. Now, I'm pretty sure if it was another country, the customs would be customing a lot more. But since it's just kind of state to state, it's still kind of a custom situation, but it's not quite that. Um, for those in the comments who understand what I'm saying, I might be describing it slightly wrong because I've never really flown out of the country. If I'm off on that, let me know. So it was just one extra step. That was the only thing that was different. Um, other than that, you know, I have... I have the pre-TSA and all that, so I could just, I, I, I get, getting through it is nothing anymore. Mainly because at this point, I now know I travel so much, I need to have all that stuff because I just, I don't have patience. And also, too, sometimes I'll be running late to get to the airport. Anyway, so we got through everything. It was fine. Um, the first flight, seamless, no issues. Second flight, oh, this flight back, I was smart. So I did not, I brought like, I finally brought one of those neck, thick neck things and I had a blanket because this is how all this happened getting to Puerto Rico because of the fact that the plane had the air conditioning full blast. So I just got so sick from all the air conditioning in the air. And I was so cold, like cold, cold. So I was like, okay, lesson learned. Get you a neck roll, get you a blanket. So I purchased one of those at one of the airport things. Yeah, it sucked that I had to spend that airport money for that stuff because you could buy all that stuff on Amazon much cheaper. But it was like, you know what? It's 
comfort's worth it. So, and now I have it for the future. So I'm just going to do that in the future moving forward. And so first part of the flight, I slept through most of the flights. So I was good. The second flight. Um, so then after that, then I just used the opportunity to edit videos and cause I was at the airport for a hot minute. I was at the airport for like almost six hours cause my flight kept getting delayed to get back from Tampa to, um, Chicago. So I wasn't really worried though. Cause I was like, whatever it is what it is. <laughs> as long as I get home at decent time, it's like I have dinner. I don't care. Um, which I did, but the flight was wild. That flight from Tampa to Chicago was crazy. First of all, I saw one of the, so one of the, um, um, flight attendants. I know <laughs> I was like, Hey, he's like, Hey, <laughs> What are you doing here? I was like, I actually just came back from Puerto I'm on my way back from Puerto Rico. He's like, ooh. I was like, yeah, it's my birthday. He's like, oh, yeah, it is. Like, he ain't really, we all know, know each other like that. But, like, I talked to him once or twice in passing before. And not through this job. Through a, a place I go to very regularly or in the neighborhood. Because he lives, he he lives in Chicago. Um, but anyway, so that was funny. The flight attendant I knew, but because of that, child, why did this dude give me this Burger King looking <laughs> Southwest crown and had the whole entire air had the whole entire plane wishing me happy birthday? And then just kept bugging me with birthday stuff the whole entire time. Like, not just him. All the stewardess, all, sorry, not stewardess, because that's not even a politically, all the flight attendants, there we go. All the flight attendants were just doing the most when it came to this. And it was so funny. I had, like, I got a free glass of wine. I got, <laughs> the treatment was so special, it was funny. But then everyone who was next to me were just kind of gassing it and everything, too. And so that was funny, too. And then the guy who was sitting, too, like, I had, so the good news is because it was delayed, the flight was not was not a full flight. So I had space, which was awesome. So I was able to do the whole thing and just I slept a little bit, watch a little bit of watch a little bit of TV, did a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, a little bit turbulent of a flight. Both of them were. But this one especially was super turbulent. Um, but not bad, because in a large plane, turbulence doesn't bother me. But so from there. Sorry, I am um, itchy. Um, so then from there, um, the person who was next to me was, he, he was a good looking dude. Um, we were cackling about random things here and there. And it was just, it was one of the most random weird flights ever, but so much fun. So the flight back was actually kind of fun. Um, and then I got back. Um, so I got back to the, um, got back to um, Midway and basically got home at a decent time and put my laundry and all that away and it was all good. So that was pretty much though the trip. Um, so I start on my laundry. I'm finishing up my laundry right now. I already cleaned my apartment. I did that last night. I just got to put the boxes away of all the things that I broke out. Tomorrow, I'm going to contact my former employer to see what I need to do as far as sending the equipment back because I thought I was going to get boxes from them to send the equipment back. And I never got that. So I'm confused on that. And then I also need to make sure with the new employer that I'm getting boxes. I'm getting like my things through, through them because I'm supposed to be getting all that this week too. So it's just a lot of moving parts that have going on. And I'm going out tonight to hang out with my friends and sell my, break my birthday there. So even though I have... Five more days off before I'm back to work. It feels, it doesn't feel like I, I, I have, to, it feels like I'm going back in the swing of things pretty quickly. So, but anyway, that does conclude the vacation vlog. Um, I know I squeezed in, I, I, I made a multiple videos cause I, I don't know. I don't know how short form stuff. I'm not good at that. But anyway, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>